Do you know how to store your medications so they will be good when you need them? Hey, Provider Preppers, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kyleen, and we are excited today because we're gonna talk about the shelf life of antibiotics and the best way to store them so that you can prolong that shelf life. Um, but before we get into that, um, back in November, we um, did a video on Jace Medical, who makes these Jace cases, um, where you can get a licensed physician to prescribe antibiotics for an emergency through a licensed pharmacy. So it's a super cool thing. Um, but at that time, we announced a promo code of Provident but unfortunately that's going to end on january 31st 2022 so you've only got about a week if that's something if that promo code and that saving 20 dollars is important to you you got to act really soon okay so now let's talk about the shelf life of antibiotics let's start by talking about why it might be important for you to have some antibiotics in your home pharmacy um, first of all um, as we all know, there are times when an antibiotic makes the difference between life and death or between getting well and having serious long-term complications. And the timing of that antibiotic is important too. Um, I know personally that when you get a UTI, it, it can make all the difference when you have to make the appointment and you have to go in and then get that antibiotic filled. Um, and there's a lot of suffering that goes on. Now, normally that is totally the course that we would recommend that you take. Right. However, when you're in an emergency situation, sometimes you have limited access to medical care, right? We saw that during the pandemic. Absolutely. Where sometimes it just wasn't possible to go in and see your, your medical provider. And I know that personally, I had several on-call, or not on-call, but um, online, what do they call it? Telemed. Telemed. Yeah. <laughs> A few telemed appointments and um, just to be able to meet our needs. And then you have to go to the pharmacy and be able to pick up those meds and, um, and then start using them. So there's so many different complications that sometimes it just makes sense to have some medications at home. And personally, I think that antibiotics are one of those. Exactly right. And we always encourage you to work through your medical provider. That's, that's the ideal path if you can work through them and get the things that you need. Sometimes that doesn't work. Um, and each doctor is different. Each um, office is different. And so if, if you find yourself in a situation where that doesn't work for you, uh, Jace Medical is such an excellent option for you because you can get those by a licensed physician through a licensed pharmacy. It's just a great way to go. And let's think about situations that might occur during an emergency where you might need an antibiotic. Um, how about for wounds, right? Or diarrheal infections, some of those um, UTIs or all kinds of different pneumonia is a big one. And so not one antibiotic is going to take care of everything, right? right and right. antibiotics never work on viruses. So you have to be really careful. And that's one of the things that comes in the Jace kit is this little emergency antibiotic guide. And you can um, actually download a free copy. I'll leave a link in the description of the video. Um, but you can download this for free and put it with whatever your emergency stash is. And I think that that's a really good thing. But each one of these antibiotics covers um, a different type of bacterial infection. And so that's why um, Jace Medical has these five. They won't cover everything, but it covers the most common. Right, right. right? Let's move on to shelf life, because that's why we're really here. Most medications that are in tablet form store best in a cool, dry, dark location. Just like our food. Everything that we talk about is cool, dark, dry. This is no exception. Yeah, and you especially want to protect them against humidity. Now, in that original video that we had, we had lots of questions come in, and one of the questions was actually about freezing them if they would last longer. And I'm super excited because one of our viewers, East Tennessee expat, he is, um, he's done a lot of expert work and I wanna read to you exactly what he said. Antibiotic storage is a topic that I may have greater experience and expertise than almost anyone. 20 years ago, I was tasked to conduct a series of experiments to determine ideal storage conditions for various antibiotics. What we found, 
Antibiotic degradation is primarily via hydrolysis, water-catalyzed molecular destruction. In a really dry environment, the antibiotics tested remained potent for many years beyond the expiration date, even at very elevated temperatures, 100 degrees or more. That was surprising to me. As temperatures decreased, relative humidity increased. The takeaway learning was that refrigeration generally increased shelf life a little bit, but freezing would destroy the medication almost immediately. The reason being that at the freezing point of water, relative humidity is 100%. Bottom line, store these drugs at room temperature or cooler in a closed container with a silica gel desiccant and do not freeze. That is really important to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, um, East Tennessee Expat for sharing that with us because I didn't know that about freezing, but it makes sense now that you know, right? So make sure, and if you want to put a desiccant um, packet in there, um, I, this is my personal opinion. This is what I would do. So I would take my kit, um, my Jace case, right? And if, if you're have, storing it in something else and you're storing antibiotics you bought someplace else, um, this would go for it too. But I would just put the desiccant packet in here and I would close it up. And then the Jace case comes in this really cool, um, this is the mailing container, right? And it's made out of a mylar. And I would stick the Jace case with the desiccant in here or whatever, you know, however you're, you're doing it. I would stick it in here and I would seal it up shut because this will provide just an extra layer of protection, right? If you don't have something like the Jace case, I put it in here, seal it up and store this packet in a cool, dry, dark place. That's not going to freeze because how terrible would it be for you to open up your emergency meds and find out that they had been rendered um, useless because of freezing. Okay, so let's talk about what exactly is inside the Jace case. Okay, so we have metronidazole, and that is a 500 milligram tablet, and there's 30 of those. There is also ciprofloxacin, a 500 milligram tablet, uh, 28 of those. There is uh, amoxicillin clavulinate, which is an 875 plus 125 milligram tablet. Uh, there's 28 of those. Uh, also doxycycline, this is a 100 milligram tablet, or capsule in this case, and there's 120 of those. And then there's uh, the azithromycin. Yeah, it's, it's, a lot. it's clear full. Uh, and then the azithromycin, which is a 250 milligram tablet, and there's a card of six tablets in here. So this represents the most common antibiotics that you might need in a crisis. This is what, uh, such a blessing. And the dosage or the amount of them that they think you might need. Um, and there really are, there's, that's a lot of medication in here. And this was an expensive one when I was doing the cost research about how much they are. Um, but if you notice on this, the little bottles, they are all labeled appropriately for with the person's name and the information, all the things that are required. So um, you know exactly what is inside this jar. One of the things that I really like about the Jace case, this carrying case is super cool yeah. because the bottles fit in here so nicely and it has room for extra ones. So if you have other meds that you need, um, they, they'll they just slip really nicely in here. And you can, some of the over-the-counter meds that you might want to always keep handy, um, they could go in here and it's got this little outside zipper pocket where you could put important information or like a little first aid kit or whatever. But um, I, I think this is just super cool. And I'm really grateful that um, Jace Medical is willing to do this because there hasn't been anybody that I knew of before where I could have a licensed physician dispense the medication, you know, buy a licensed pharmacy to make sure that it's safe and it's what I need. Um, so remember that promo code PROVIDENT, if you use it right now, you will save $20 off your order of the Jace case, but it's going away. January 31st is your last day, 2022 is your last day to be able to use that coupon. 
coupon code and I don't believe that they're going to be able to let us offer it again no matter how much I beg. So, yeah. um, I, what are you doing to store antibiotics? How are you storing them, right? You don't have to go this route. If you can get your personal physician to write a prescription for you, great. Yeah. Store it in an airtight container. Make sure that it's labeled so that you know what's in it and don't freeze it because we know freezing is bad in this case. Yep, it really was a great day when we found Dr. Roland uh, because so many of you have expressed concern about this. And us. This was something that for a long time we just didn't have the best answers. We, you, all we could say is work with your physician. Some will help you, some won't. But this was a great day when we found Dr. Roland and they've been so wonderful to work with. So now what kind of medications do you need to store and what are you doing to make sure that those are gonna be viable and useful when you need them. Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.